And I think this is one of those ordinances, one of few, frankly, that actually does get to the core of the problem. Overdose investigators. That's what Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas is seeking to help combat the fentanyl death epidemic, but not as law enforcement through the city's health department. I'm John Holt. I'm Lauren Halifax. So this plan would use contact tracing methods similar to those we all learned about during the pandemic. Fox Force Jacob Kittlestats live at City Hall now. Jake, this ordinance would also make new reporting requirements. Yeah, that's right, Lauren. The proposal would also mean that medical examiners would need to report all fatal and non fatal fentanyl overdoses within one day to the KCMO Health Department. Currently, the mayor says that information can lag up to years. Investigators and a review board. These are parts of the fentanyl overdose ordinance discussed by city council members, pushed by Mayor Quentin Lucas. Tracing, as we have seen in the COVID crisis, as we've seen with other ailments in our community for decades, is something that we think is vital. We need them to engage with us, and so sensitivity is just going to be of utmost importance. Alex Francisco, Kansas City's chief science officer, says two new investigators would engage with people close to drug overdoses, not to build a criminal case, but to collect information. The department already does similar work tracking things like tuberculosis and STDs. In, in general, I would imagine that these folks will be contacting individuals to get some of this contextual information. You know, were you using alone? Were you using at home? Uh, what were the circumstances that led you to use or lead you to use in general? We heard in committee today a discussion about is this a law enforcement problem? Is it a health problem? Is it a hospital issue? Is it a school issue? The answer is it's all of the above. Now, this proposal also includes the creation of a fentanyl review board that would be appointed by the mayor. It would include people from emergency medical services, addiction services, as well a wide swath of people. This discussion is going to be continuing tomorrow during the full city council meeting, and a vote could also happen then. Jacob Kittlestead, Fox 4, working for you.